Oh, I asked for this. 
know. Anybody know that song? Oh, Daddy. Praise the Lord. Don't so nobody know. I was bound, he set me free. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Lord. You know, it's just the best. Oh, <laughs> well, well, well. You know, Rosalind. Oh, thank you. Praise the Lord. Okay, praise the Lord. Anybody just, I can't cut it off, praise You know, man. Okay, praise God. So we're going to go on, praise God. Roll with the singing, praise God. No, she's. <laughs> You know what happened? 
That spirit got into somebody. That's right. So you can't stop the spirit of Satan. All you do is you can fight him with prayer. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. But the sin is, my Lord is just able. You know I hear that pastor say, when he had his wreck, he said, Lord, I ain't got no insurance for my children. How I'm going to make it. Hallelujah. But I tell you what, if you, if you put your trust in Jesus, I cry you can make it. You know when I got out of the car a while ago, I did that. This little house was rocking. I know that sister was saying this stuff. And I tell you what, this young man is bringing this keyboard out.
Lord. Blessed to be in the house of the Lord. One more. You know, praise God. God been pulling on me about two weeks, praise God, to tell my testimony. Yes. Yes. Gotta get up last week, praise God. Testimony. 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 Testimony.
Thank God. Thank God for being here. Yes. Yeah. Lord. You know, it look like the devil get busy on the sun. Yeah. Morning, I, I just had so many hymns, hymns, hymns. But I just had a long ago. Some of my friends came over. They have other service. Some they came over this morning. I just want to run by the sea. Okay, they came over the sea and we ate. We stayed in. Well, kept going and so slow and the phones kept ringing. And they just kept on throwing me off track. Yeah. So then I went in there rushing to get ready. I know what you mean. Put on my stockings. Put the big hole in them. Put my well, praise the Lord. I said, I have another pair. <laughs> so I went and got that other pair and put it on. Point the hole in front of this. I pray the Lord. I'm well like right this. <laughs>
Thank you for these nine people, Lord, that you bless. Lord, to be here. Thank you for your presence, for your word, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for binding this enemy that's on the highway. Lord, that we hit it up. Thank you for touching every heart today, Lord, and caused them to have a mind to press their way to the house of God, Lord, to praise you. Lord, to give you praises. Lord, to reference you, to worship you. Give us the utterance today, Lord, to speak your will. Put it in me, Lord, to speak your mind, to speak your will. Lord. In Jesus' name, I'm, I'm asking this of you. Lord, speak to my voice, speak to my mind, my heart, Lord. Speak to my understanding. Speak to my wisdom, Lord. Cause me, Lord, to let me be as John, the voice of warnings, proclaiming the gospel. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm asking this to be done. And we give you praise. Come on, give a good hand, please, please. Appreciate how many appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord. Oh, I'm gonna get a quiet hand. Oh, thank you. Hallelujah. It's all right. I mean, just sit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
care what kind of hole that crack cocaine got on the cheese. Look at the little cheese powder said he's a happy breaker. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
and then he walked over to him like, you know, you were going to taste it. Say, listen to you, you made a mistake. Sometimes come down the mountain, we, we, we call it a blessing. That's really the real name of blessing. This is the devil got in, you know, caught you in the water. All this world needs is Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Jesus is the answer. We don't need, we need an AA, we don't need a GLI, you don't need, you, you don't need to put, I got two locks on my storage room, got two locks. Then I got three locks back in the thing here. Got a padlock, got a log chain. <laughs> now if we had Jesus, if the world had Jesus, you wouldn't need a lock. The lock, the locks, the man would go out of business. <laughs> They would make no harm on locks and keys because everybody had cheese and had no need for locks. See? Bro, Charlie? If everybody had cheese, man, the, the, man the, the lawyers, they would have to go out of business. You know, crooked lawyers and crooked judges and things, they have to go out of business. Everybody had Jesus. They would have nothing to do. Right. And they pride in folks not having Jesus. They like folks not having Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. They're not in line. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What the world needs today, Brother Balak, is simply Jesus. That's the bottom line. Right. 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 Simply Jesus. Amen. Right. 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 Well, the world is denying him, but that's the world cure. That's the world action. Brother Baylock, I ain't worried about you robbing me and sticking me up, man. Yeah. Man, I, I should be able to lay my wallet down. You ladies should be able to lay your pocketbook down. Laying over with money laying all around Christian. Some Christian, you really not <laughs> But you should be able to. I mean, we're talking about people that got Jesus now. Yeah. We, we're not just talking about what folks label themselves like Chris. We're talking about folks got Jesus. Yeah. 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 Man, when you got Jesus to make a difference, you're a new preacher in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Brother Mike, I'm not talking about just the name Christianity. I'm not just talking about, I'm talking about having Jesus in your life. It yeah. makes a difference. Yeah. You know, we stopped at the store today and I went to get a, a bottle of a folk up there, me and this old man, they were looking at some grape juice, you know. And so we were looking for a smaller bottle, they had a bit of a bigger bottle. So we spent about two, three minutes, and I finally spotted one over had a bottle. And I was a real one, so he looked at me, oh, you know, you beat the kids at Because you're tall now, and you can see it still. He said, yeah, but that's all right. That ain't real serious. Uh, both of us <laughs> That's all right. Though. I can feel the man's so special. I tell you, you take this lot, about it bigger. Oh, I said, no, that's all right. I said, no, you go ahead. Right, you take it. I'll buy the three dollar bottle. I don't need all of it, but I'll buy it. Well, he took it. But this is what Jesus, when Jesus, I could have said, no, I ain't paying this. I don't need all this stuff. You, you, you pay for it. I found this bottle. But Jesus makes it do a little simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He makes it do a little simple. That's my This is something, man. People don't like to be put out of the way, brother. Vice man, people, man, you gotta, you know, give yourself. Jesus will help you. He excuse me now, they're being too tender hearted. Father told me, he said, Brother Austin, I had brother friends laughing and laughing. See, Brother Austin, after 12 years, and she ain't laughing for the year. But you hope for the best of the folks, you know. Sometimes you get, you get, sometimes you get let down. But you hope for the best. But friend, you expect the best out. Folks tell your brothers and sisters and Christians and stuff like that, you know, you kind of take them for the word. You trust them, but sometimes you get take take advantage of them. Let me let me talk to you here for a few minutes. But Jesus is true. And I really appreciate that choir. I enjoy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just talking about I was just talking about the Sister Newsom and we know they they say, do they say. I was just talking about my daughter about that. She kinda surprised me. Yeah, all right. Maybe you 
lost and to the weak. I became as weak. But you. But Paul did, Brother Balak, he put humbled himself down. He brought himself yeah. sometime. You know, Jesus had trouble described in Pharisee because he, he, he associated with the with the sinners. With the non Jewish people. But Paul's I became as weak that I may gain the weak. Let me tell you something, you ain't gonna win nobody to Christ. I mean we win folks that are already saved. But I'm talking about winning sinners to Christ. The Bible said Paul said, I come as weak that I may gain the weak, Brother Blaylock. Mm -hmm. In other words, they put themselves, Paul put himself in the position. Amen. You got to put yourself in the Amen. position of a drunk. You got to put yourself in the position of a drunk. Had it. I was in prayer one day and the Lord put me in the position of an individual man and I fell their burdens. So, so once we can get in a place where we can feel the lost burden. Brother Bain. Paul's I become as weak that I may gain the weak. I put myself in that position. I mean I, I come under bondage myself. Paul said I come under bondage. I came under that load. I came under that yoke. I put myself in this individual place to see what, see how, what kind of problem, what kind of situation they were in. He said, I became as weak that I may gain the weak. Yeah. But like, sometimes it's going to take some long suffering. We got all some patience. God. Now I'm preaching this to encourage and to stir you, you know, because I have the same, I have to go through the same thing. I mean, sometimes, you know, you you, you preach, but then look, like the devil ain't going nowhere, man. You want to get discouraged. But let me tell you, you got to have some patience. Yeah. You got to put yourself under that load. Yeah. Yeah. You got to put yourself in that position of that individual. Yeah. And Sister Amen, once you put yourself in that position, yeah. then you can pray. You can reach out to God. You can travail. You, you can't have a travail for nobody. You ain't have a burden for that individual. If you don't feel no burden for them, you don't feel what they're going through, you ain't going to travail. You will travail when you feel that love that they're carrying. When you feel that problem they're carrying around, you will travail. You Lord. A lot of burning. You, you might pray, but you'll be in between. Once you get on that prayer, that's just like the devil got trying to catch you, Superman. Man, it's just been a yesterday. Just like the devil got you on, the devil trying to get you. Same thing, you're running for your life. Yeah. You know, a lot of times, brother, we can't see. We can't feel. Other people's need you can't feel. Oh, yeah. now, I know sometimes it's getting kind of hard. Sometimes it's the thing that some people do don't make sense. But they are not about it, just a matter. They are, ain't no person in their right mind gonna go out here and work all week long on construction. Oh, yeah. Make five hundred dollars, brother, banging oh, yeah. in two hours. He ain't got a dime. You know, smoked it up oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and crack cocaine. Man, that man is under the load. That man has got a problem. That man Oh, we did it in two hours time. He ain't got a dime left. Ain't nobody in their right mind want to do it. They want to stretch that part. Man, let it last. But man, they can't. They don't know. And Paul said, I became my sweet. The Lord is going to stir up some people, Brother Banks, that's going to get under the load. Sister Dana, I took bail for you. Touch your burden, God. Let me touch. Let me feel. Thank God your problem, and I'll 
abusing one another, casting one another, laying down, either backstabbing one another, and here Jesus, Lord Jesus, man, I've died, man, why? Why not send the Spirit of God back to why are they doing this stuff? You know, Jesus and man, he could have wiped all of us if he didn't have compassion. Brother, right. Right. You know some of us are going to live like we ought to live. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. Some of us are cursed. Some of us talk about one of us. Some of us are bitches. Thank God for the penny for us tonight. We ever get that place where, where Paul got, sister, where Paul got, uh-huh. It's where this is when I came to pray, pray about the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. God, I'm trying to understand. Uh -huh. Lord, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand. Lord, if you don't put me in this place, if you don't give me this burden, if you don't let me experience uh -huh. what they're experiencing, I'm not going to be able to understand. Uh -huh. I'm not going to be able to pray like I ought to. I'm not going to be able to be long suffering like I ought to if you don't do something for me. Guys, the Pharisees, man, and getting them adultery with them people. He put himself in their position. Thank you. 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 Spit upon you. Got to get out of that spirit. Yeah. That's all. Some people maybe label one worse than the other. They label one worse than the other. Right. 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 Uh, I told a little white lie, I don't care if a big black lie, they both the same. Right? Yeah. 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 A palsy. Yeah. And I know sometimes we have trouble with this, but I do myself, Brother Blade. And I, I told you when I preach, I preach to myself lots of times. Yeah. yeah. Oh, lots of times because I need encouragement. Yeah. Oh, lots of times. It's going to cause me to stand up against this devil that's trying to ride my back rock. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you think this devil ain't trying to overthrow?
hard. I come back. Put it back together. Come on. Brother Mike, I could have told you, man. I didn't know about you. Andy, man, come on. I could have tried to beat you with somebody. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah.
strength, by that flow. Amen. By that wide, man, want a 12 hour for him. You know, he's two pounds for you, nothing more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I get 12 hour for him. So they give me 12 hour, man. You know how many they call this for? I said, man, I ain't got no money for swimming. Amen. Yeah. I know, I said, dude, you, you be carrying around the bag like that. He's <laughs> <laughs> up, wrapped up in a bag. If you had bought him, if you had bought him, you just ate him. <laughs> But you sit in the hand of the wicked. Yeah. And you do stuff like that. You may think it's a bargain, you get a deal, but you know what you're doing? You're sitting you're encouraging that thief. Yeah. Yeah. Then going out there, man, I'm going to buy. Somebody else is going to buy. So I got a chase full of brothers and sisters. They'll buy all that stuff you get. <laughs> going out there and steal that stuff, man. That's what you're telling them. You may well tell them that's what they're going to do. But you're saying, the brother baby, somewhere, let me get on here. Somewhere, we got to get out of the bird. Yeah. And it made me hard. Jesus never told us this way was going to be easy. Yeah. He said that if any man would come out to me and Luke, let him deny himself and let him take up the cross. And for sometimes loving folks is hard. Sometimes trying to own yourself get hard and get rough. But Jesus told you to take up the cross and follow him. Take up that load. Take up that burden. Take up that trial and follow him. Sometimes people ain't lovable, but you got to love them anyway. Sometimes sometimes people ain't lovable, but you know folks that ain't love, but you just can't hardly love them. And it's so bad sometimes you don't care if you don't love them. How many know that you ever met people like you see? You got people around like that you don't care if you don't love them, so bad. You ain't be trying to put yourself out of the way to love them. You gotta love them anyway. He said, take up the cross. Come. Yeah. It may not be easy sometimes to arm yourself. It may not be easy sometimes to get yourself in that position. Because sometimes the devil has people get in such a predicament. Man, you wonder how did they get in this kind of but, but you some kind of way. You got the, the Bible says, blessing all the peacemakers. Yeah. Yeah. You know what that means? Uh, the one oh. Uh, Interpreted saying that when there is no peace, find a way to make it. This is what a peacemaker is. It's when there's no peace around, no peace to be found, no peace there. You get in there some kind of way and you create some peace. You create some peace. Bless God, the peacemaker. You create some love. You create some, some way. Thank God to put yourself under that burden, under that love, brother. No way, I just can't see that I can understand what they're going to do. You figure out a way. Hallelujah. Don't know. Thank you, Jesus. You know, they're just going to church. Amen. I can't say to my mess, I never. No, no. The Holy Ghost See, in some other church, they'll tell you to speak to your pop. The deacons, yeah. They're going to tell you to speak to your pop. Yeah. Yeah. This one brother told me, my cousin, so we told, told the preacher, listen, man, speak to your top. Stop getting off your top. Uh-huh. Some church, they'll have you getting off your top. Yeah, that's right. You're right about this. The Holy Ghost has a Listen. Uh, you, you, you know what you're getting off the top. But I believe, man, we got all the pieces in shape, man. You can't stick on one topic and obey God. Right. You got a feeling? Yeah. Take off. Put it all. Mix the piece. They got you. They got some kind of way to get you set to understand. They seek and do try. Try and do. Just to understand. Lord, if you can pray, but prayer won't do, ain't nothing else going to do. Amen. That's right. But prayer won't do. Some people want you to come and visit them. They want you to come sit and talk to them. Come and visit them. You know what I mean? So the man, if prayer won't get it, sitting around talking ain't going to get it. Amen. 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 Amen.
come sit around and talk with me. And if you need encouragement, you can sit around and pray. I don't mind knowing that, but just boys come around and visit. I mean, the Bible says, if you're sick, I'm going to let them call for the elders of the church. And I don't mind knowing that, but that, what prayer, if prayer ain't going to get it, your conversation ain't going to get it. All right. Hey, God. Hey. You know, you're making encouragement about sometimes talking, but prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Brother Blake, like prayer would get in there. Man, I may come to you and sit down and talk to you, and then you got that confidence in me because I was there, and my prayers were there. And you say, oh, I know, brother, over here, and I just, I felt so way better, man, and everything's all right in there because But what if we pray and God coming at himself? Yeah. Thank God that's stripping you in God. They let you know that God is a deliverer. You will have to look at Brother Austin. You will have to even mention Brother Austin came. You will recognize that God himself coming at him. You want to make sure, brothers, you may fall out of fellowship with me, 
brother Blaylock, but you don't want to fall out of fellowship with Jesus. Are you listening to me? You may fall out of fellowship with me, but you sure enough don't want to fall out of fellowship with Jesus. You want to always do the thing that pleases Jesus. Brother Fred, you and Sadane may get on, not have to be on speaking terms, but you don't want to get on the non speaking terms with Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So you don't you don't try to judge the sister. Amen. Don't try to work with folks, you know. Teach them in a loving kind of way, bro. I ask Lord, Lord, give me wisdom how to tell folks stuff. Because sometimes flesh is getting away. Flesh don't want you to say things to them, you know. Flesh is getting away, but you got to figure out a way, brother, to tell them. That's right. They're trying to sit in a peaceful way. Right. 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 the peaceful way showing that you ain't doing it, trying to condemn. Because I, I, I feel like folks trying to condemn me, I ain't going to have to be have them do it. That's right. But I feel like they're trying to tell me something to help me for my benefit. And they ought to condemn me. Yeah. Like brother, I can accept it. Yeah. Let me say read this. I'm going to get that back from you. <laughs> but I want them to know that. Sometimes, sister, I don't know if you sister Jed or not, but yeah. <laughs> sometimes when you, you got a small trick like ours, man, the devil jump on you, makes you want to accept anything because it's small. You want to grow, you need to grow. You want to accept anything. Yeah. 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 That's right, preacher. That's right. Streets. I was in the apartment yards. I was in the houses yard. I mean, I was preaching in community centers, and I was preaching anywhere I could preach it. So I said, if I have to go back to that, I go back to the street, and I go back to the corners, and I go back to the apartment yards if I have to. Yeah. Sometimes, man, you know, when you're small, the devil trying to make you accept a lot of stuff, man, and cause you to grow like other folks. I said, God, help me to keep a fellowship. Yeah. 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 Now, let me get off of this, cause I'm. Church and pray and ask 
Jesus. Don't turn away from God because you got a problem. We're going to try to get these stripping. Get them stripping, Brother Banks. So when you leave here, you can have some peace. Don't y'all worry about me compromising. They ain't going to compromise. That's a why, because I don't feel like it. <laughs> they just go learn what that means. Jesus told Peter, he said, Peter, Satan have desired you. He wants you. He desires to sit you like we. He said, but I pray for you that your faith fails not. He said, Peter, when thou art converted, stir in your blood. Yeah, yeah. Didn't see it. Yes, Stripping your brother. The Bible tells that in Roman that if, if, if a brother that overtaken, if you overtake him in the fall, you need to spiritually restore such a one. Yes. Spirit of meekness. That is what I try to do. You rest restore your spirit of meekness. I mean, you talk about some things. I won't say nothing. But to restore. Yes. And God don't turn off because something go wrong. Yes. <laughs> When we, when we rebel, when we reject, when we rebel, when we reject, when we refuse, the Bible tells us that in Roman 1, because they didn't want to retain God back in their knowledge, God gave them over to the reprobate mind, the strong delusion, oh, yeah. 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 causing them to believe a lie and be bound because they didn't want to retain God back in their knowledge. Oh, yeah. 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 People don't want to come back to the truth, brother Charles, and God will give them over. Yeah. 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 Because you made a mistake, because you're having trouble. Already got. Thank you. Make it hard than something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When we get in trouble, we, we pray from God. We want to come back to him. We want to come back to this truth. Should I hear the gospel? Maybe getting in serious trouble. The Bible says, I'll give them over. Mm -hmm. The reprobate man. Mm -hmm. Let them work in the witches on the scene. No. But listen, we gotta, we gotta, some kind of way pray to the Lord help us. Amen. For you, everybody pray for their loved ones. Amen. Reach out for your loved ones. I'm praying for mine. Amen. My little nieces and things, granddaughters, they realize I'll be praying for them. So they, they'll, be, they'll, they'll be thanking God. Amen. If mama ain't praying, if they ain't praying, I mean, they may say they prayers. Send the prayers, they pray. Reach now. Somebody said, somebody said that well, there's a family church. I would be God, every church is meant to be a family church. It's good enough for me, I'll be good enough for my mama, my sister, my brother, my uncles and nephews, and things like that, everybody. So Charlie, it'll be good for y'all reading out for your family. I'm reading out for House of Prayer, man. My Lord is beginning to reach out and touch their family. Yeah. I'm not I'm talking about this unsaved family. Read that there. Touch them. Yeah. Holy, holy, holy. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Father. Yeah. I appreciate you for your word today, Lord. And we kind of round about here and there, but that's all right. Help me, Lord. Sometimes I... I don't confess that I'm always like this, Lord, because sometimes the sins of the people, and I get, get mad, I get upset, I get sick of it. Lord, but when you get me in prayer, Lord, then that burden begin to come up on me, I begin to reach out. Lord, be praying for the deliverance, Lord, praying for him. Jesus' name, Lord, help us. I'm not saying we'll go along with stuff, Lord. I, I'm not going to go along with stuff, Lord. I get in that position where I can pray, where I can reach out. I still speak against it, Lord, encourage them to come out of it, Lord. we got to do that, Lord. We can't encourage them in it, Lord. We can't strip them in it. But, God, we'll pray. we have a burden. We'll pray. And G give us wisdom and knowledge, Lord, how to deal with unsaved. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. Come on. Praise you.
Some of them do all that sometimes. Sometimes I don't. But I'm working on it. I know it's right, but we got you. We got you. We got you. Hey. Keep reaching out to you, Lord. Get yourself. The Lord let me experience. Let me feel all good. Every time I don't say to you, you're going to be lost. The Lord don't get any help to be lost. The Lord pray. You don't need to ask you to reach out to God. Amen. You lost now. But you never know what the Lord just laid on his side to do. You know, you pray. You know, you see something. We're going to get ready to get your ties and off together. You know, he sent up. He sent up. Isaiah down to uh, Hezekiah's house. Fool Hezekiah to get the house of the Lord for his people to die. And this guy turned his face to the wall and prayed. And the Lord turned, told Isaiah, sent Isaiah back. Go for this nip. Tell this guy, I'm giving 15 more years. Don't ever 